Hi everyone, it's Hal, and welcome back to another Devotions video. To so this book. I wanted to say I'm sorry I didn't do a devotion from this book yesterday, but we're going to do one from this book today. So today's devotion is for July 23rd, and it is anchored in the peace of God. And I'll be reading Isaiah chapter 26, verses 1 through 8. But I want to read this first. Let me get my phone to... We can get started. Here's the devotion we'll be doing today. Let's begin. Anchored in the peace of Christ, trust in the Lord always, for the Lord God is the eternal rock. Isaiah chapter 26, verse 4. When idols are mentioned, we usually see in our mind's eye many of gods that form an integral part of life, culture, tradition, and heathen gods. There were rain gods, fertility gods, war gods. The list is endless. People lived in fear of trepidation because it was possible that they could anger these gods. And then the gods would seek revenge. However, idols don't have religious connotation. Only in our day. Do people, people have elevated money into an idol? And they are trying their very best to hoard riches, yet others seek security in their earthly possessions, while others make liquor and drugs their idol in effort to escape the pressures of modern life, covetousness, Jealousy and lust are just as real to some people as their idols are to pagans. Just like the pagan idols, they create fear and anxiety in the hearts of those who worship them. The, they fear the loss of their earth's possessions or they cannot cope without the crutch of drugs and alcohol. Most people if not all, intentionally yearn for tranquility and peace of mind. This is to be found only with the one true God, and it happens when you surrender your life to the living Christ, and when you love Him. Okay, well, let's see. When you surrender your life to the living Christ, when you love Him above all else, Live your life in Christ. Open your heart to Him. Spend time with Him in His presence. Draw your strength from Him. In this way, His love will expel fear and tension from your life, and you will have a safe haven where you can live in peace. Here's a prayer. Pray with me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for being my safe haven. You can either win your peace, or you can buy it. You can win it by resisting evil. You can buy it through compromising with the evil one. John Ruskin. So I'm going to be reading Isaiah chapter 26, verses 1 through 8, to close this devotion for today.
Ready? I'm going to be reading Isaiah chapter 26, verse 8. A song of praise. In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judea. In the land of Judea. We have a strong city. God makes salvation. His walls and ramparts open the gates. That, right, that the righteous nation may enter. The nation that keeps faith. You will keep in perfect peace. Those in my minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. He humbles those who dwell on high. He lays the lofty city low. He levels it to the ground and casts it down to the dust. Feet trample it down. The feet of the oppressed, the footsteps of the poor. The path of the righteous is level. You, the upright one, make the way of the righteous smooth. Yes, the Lord walking in the way of your laws. We wait for you. Your name and renown are the desire of our hearts. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this devotion video through the book. 366 Devotions. Trusting in God. As always, God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you. And remember, we are always anchored in the peace of God. Let's remember to make God our number one priority and not make things in our life an idol because idols are not worshiping God. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.